Hello, and welcome to Girl STEM Academy. This is part two of our two-part series on ChatGPT. If you haven't already, be sure to check out part one to learn what ChatGPT is and how it works. This video will explore a few more demos of ChatGPT and its implications. As you watch this video, please click the subscribe button and click notifications on. It really makes a big difference for us to create good video content. Let's take a look at some more demos of ChatGPT, such as creating a poem, play, and resume, as well as see how it takes feedback. One great thing about ChatGPT is that you can be very specific in your requests. For example, not only can I just ask ChatGPT to write a poem, but I can ask ChatGPT to write a poem in Shakespeare style. Great, ChatGPT created a wonderful poem in Shakespeare style. Since this poem looks so great, let's give it a thumbs up. Here it has a box for us to provide additional feedback, which ChatGPT will then use and incorporate it into its system to know when it's doing a good job and use that information for the future. Now, there's also a button called Regenerate Response. Let's say that I don't like this poem that much, but I still want a poem in Shakespeare style. As you can see, this new poem in Shakespearean style is different than the previous poem, but it still has the same requirements that I had set before. So by clicking Regenerate Response, ChatGPT shows off how it has almost endless possibilities for what it can produce. Now let's make this poem into a play format. And keeping on theme, I wanna keep it in Shakespeare style. Now we can see the wonderful play that ChatGPT created for us. And as you can see, it keeps some lines and parts of the poem that it had previously created. So it took our feedback of the previous poem that we had and created it in the format that we requested. In the last video, we asked ChatGPT to write a follow-up email to an interview. Now, let's say we need help getting to the interview stage. We can ask ChatGPT to write a sample resume for us. But not only can we say write a resume, we can specify exactly what our experience is. So for example, I can say I have two years of coding experience in Python and Java. Then I can be even more specific. Say our sample person graduated with a computer science degree from New York University. As you can see, ChatGPT created a really awesome resume for us to use, even with a template for us to enter our name and contact information, and then other sections such as a summary, education, and skills with exactly what we had specified earlier in the question. In addition, it formatted it very nicely for us to see and has places where we can enter and add more information about ourselves. Now that we've explored some really cool demos of ChatGPT, let's take a look at some of the problems that it might bring. First, it threatens the trust we have in content we read because it is very hard to distinguish whether a human wrote that or an AI wrote it. Can teachers in schools and colleges even know whether a student used ChatGPT to do the assignment? It is very difficult to identify with certainty because the technology is improving so much every day that it is almost as good as humans and even better in some cases. If this version of ChatGPT 3.5 is so good already, imagine the improvements in the next version, ChatGPT 4. In addition, one of the main limiting factors for widespread use of ChatGPT is the enormous computing cost for the servers and processors that are used behind the scenes for ChatGPT to work. Today, every search in ChatGPT costs a few cents. Google does about 8.5 billion searches a day. And if we use ChatGPT to do that at about 4 cents per search, 
it will cost $340 million a day. Even if the cost comes down to one cent per search prompt, it will cost around $80 million a day if all of Google searches are done in ChatGPT. However, the underlying cost of ChatGPT is expected to come down through advances in computer hardware and cloud computing in the future. ChatGPT is here to stay as part of our everyday lives, and it is just getting started. Stay tuned for the amazing ride. We hope you enjoyed watching this two-part series and learning more about ChatGPT. If you want to see any other video from us on any topic that interests you, please mention it in the comments below. Check out our other videos on coding in Java and the metaverse. Please click the subscribe button to support us so we can add more content every week. Thank you for watching.